Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough with Operation Frost Saga. Uh, it is a currently light uh, 13 to 15, so it's five packs uh, mission where we need to find a lead and we'll get Intel in return. We already spent Intel in order to get here that fast and the reason why we did that is because we want to do this mission including unfortunately the loss and then head over to this mission where we're trying to fight likely the chosen today's team is uh the skirmisher death knell um toxic as a psi operative we got a shinobi a grenadier and a sharpshooter with us uh Pliskin universe and big sleep uh, that must be a new random uh, sharpshooter Definitely not one of our viewer characters. Anyhow, we're going to go in hot and heavy and are trying to kill everyone. All right, we landed and uh, let's take a look at uh, the entire map. Also, let's take a look at OBS, everything's gone. That's a small map for 10 turns, holy. Holy macaroni, let's start to explore a little bit nothing really like nothing nothing something ain't right here fellows okay good copy moving on target hostiles making the rounds um hmm No high ground except with a train, and I really don't want to use that. I run. I'm the enemy patrol. Okay, is there high ground over here? It's a parking lot. Oftentimes next to a parking lot there's a building. of drones good well we're just going to move up and what's this yet another drone one two there's a third one over there Crazy. Ninety one, ninety one, eighty eight. Hm. Let's get the drones down. Target eliminated. We've been spotted. It's one down. All right, here there is high ground. Can okay, it both of them? The problem that I'm seeing is We're inviting extra loss to come. On the other hand, somehow got to deal with them. Absolutely. Turret. Pack over here, another turret. Is that two or three turrets? This is not going to end his turn. Oh. 
Come on. Three to six. Good chance of actually killing the drone completely. Of course, it requires us to hit them. Mind merge into Snake Plisket. Fifteen enemies overall, so pretty sure we're going to see more very soon. Reinforcements, for whatever reason, are already incoming. Pushing forward. Not sure if we can one-shot kill the turrets. I mean, we can definitely with a sniper. Taking care of. This could be a good hit. 72% uh, chance to get them down. Okay. But I've seen another pack right behind this train. the best timing for a lost swarm but we got three overwatches which really really did did, uh, did nothing at all Okay, so I think this calls for a little bit of aggression. Let's grapple to here. And see what we can get. I mean, this is an option. This here, I guess, could be an option. to move into cover further away maybe something along the lines of this here okay I know that this will spawn more losts I'm acutely aware of that but at the moment the tactic is get rid of advent hack the parameter as much as possible and do efficient actions as in kill as many as possible with the amount of actions that we do have available. Good, we do have another free grenade here. Of 
Put here this. Maybe kill the trooper. No, nope, minimum damage, unfortunately. Let's try to take out that uh, purifier. Oh, nice. All right. Do we get an immediate action? No, out of action. It's okay, but that's pretty damn good. You are vulnerable. Good chance to kill him in full cover. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Psy operatives are just so, so strong. Kill. And there is a certain chance that that will be an insta kill as well. Okay, not happening. But we're in good cover as long as you die. Okay. Well, could have been worse. Even that is good. No way he's fleeing. Okay, some pack is back here. Good, let's use this here, and more importantly, the flamethrower. Getting that dasher away. Okay. Let's hope this does not trigger. Okay, well, I'll just hack the station. I couldn't see what would be vastly more important than that. The guy definitely needs to cut his fingernails. That's what's up. Fantastic. Um, we're reloading. Let's get rid of uh, the remaining losts. I'm pretty sure new losts are going to come very soon. Two more turns. Overwatch, next turn shot, then evac which means we can actually overwatch here and I would move over here for a slightly better aiming angle and overwatch again run too far you're going to trigger stuff it's bad enough as it is already don't make it worse nice great hit And one down. Okay, keep on going. 
Thank you. Looks like they called him back up. Well, more backup next turn. Well, this is going to be fun, eh? More acid burn, that's okay. Good. Takes out this guy, who is now done for. And I would like to get out of line of sight over here. Maybe to there. Free reload. Mind merge uh, with the front line, which is undoubtedly going to be Pliskit. Then we're overwatching again. I run. And Skirmisher just takes cover, really. Alright, overwatch here. Overwatch there. Moving all the way back. Overwatch. And we might as well take a shot for the priest. Good. Priest almost down. If we could get it to sustenance level, that would be fantastic because then it does not, we don't re uh, risk that it stays as is anyone. That unfortunately ruins our overwatch plan. But the priest has plenty of targets, plus a mind control target, all of which they can work with. And all we want to do is get out of here. shot good shot yep you're burning and that is pretty much exactly what I wanted to prevent from happening the stupid stasis trap That'll bind us one more time uh, round uh, here. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. And now the question of the day is: Do we stay, or do we bail out? Uh, do we want to bail out our Shinobi? I think the answer is we're staying for one more round. Just do it carefully and in style. Nice. Good old grace shot into full cover. take the guardian we can always kill it afterwards with the with a mental attack panicked he's hunkering down
Okay, that's a kill. And hit and run and implacable are a fine, fine combination. Let's minimize the amount of loss. Common presence because he's out of ammunition. We're overwatching and this Advent Trooper is dead. He is taken out. We're actually just overwatching as well. And for the sake of not taking damage, see you later. Good, point being, we're still in stasis whilst these guys are coming. And now they meaning Advent, should have plenty of targets available to shoot from. None of the reinforcements can act immediately, so that's to our advantage. And I think we only had a priest and a, another Advent, like, in the train. Now, as you can see, stasis has ended, so Advent now would theoretically have the full access to our backline. That takes him out. And these two might just work against... Oh, that's a grappler. Mean. He did a lot. Grappler, normal lost, brood. Yeah, we're, we need to get out of here. Namri has the most hit points. So she would flee first. This is a grappler, right? Oh yeah, it's a grappler. I'm trusting you here. That means we don't want Pliskit to take damage afterwards. There you go, Grappler gone. It's dead. It has to be dead. Just in time. I'm all over it. Heading out. Let's go. What a tough mission. Yeah, so there is a difference between like difficult and actually impossible. And here's uh, here's the deal. Uh, it's good that we uh, mm, that we ran out of it uh, that early and just played a very defensive uh, game because the reinforcements were coming in every single round. Difficult means that with clever uh, strategic options, you kind of can overcome a lot of enemies, but. Uh, or the enemies that are presented in uh, this regard. Impossible, in a way, refers to the fact that there are so many hit points up on uh, the battlefield that irregardless of me moving in a, a smart fashion, using abilities good, um, or using, uh, mm, uh, using uh, hit chance as well, even being plain lucky, all of that uh, in, in a case of uh, impossible difficulty wouldn't uh, matter because if even if you theoretically hit all of these shots every single one even if you crit even if you play the turn perfectly and there are still more hit points on the battlefield and more hit points are coming in every round then you can uh, realistically kill then that is not a, a battle that you can win 
The only way to get out of that essentially is either to be insanely lucky and uh, get the uh, get the mind controls always or alternatively um, be um, be gifted with an ability like death from above or in the zone uh, but long war removed many of those so they aren't just commonly sitting uh, sitting around so kind of the whole reset strategy where you uh, where you can then clean an entire battalion of enemies that requires very high level snipers or being uh, very very lucky with uh, death from above and like i said that has been pretty much cleaned up so long-winded way of saying i think we have reached kind of a level of difficulty with our missions where it is not simply go in, kill everyone, and we good. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. Good. Before we do this, they are all on the mission. We can theoretically bring more, so I am wondering. We had the, had the Blood Angels down here in a jailbreak mission. And that would give us even rookies on top of it. Plus, we would get, depending on how many are coming out of this unscathed, we would get quite a few uh, additional resources. Uh, uh, to play with. We do have 200 intel because we haven't lost anything on the last mission. I think this is a case of boosting the infiltration so that we're at a realistic uh, baseline and uh, we might want to do a quick succession mission so that uh, the people are available and give it a go from here. All right, let's go. All right, we landed. So, got five potential targets to free and go here. Twenty-two turns. Uh, Duckry will be our scout, as per the usual. Nothing. I don't know if that's a good or a bad go. sign. Random drifts oh, no. up. And a Aaron double moves as well. We have a small team, and I think it was 13 enemies baseline, but that never excludes additional targets such as reinforcements. And we have a history of missions with uh, twice the amount of targets. We've got a hostile squad here. Okay. Well, if we can engage these guys, that would be fantastic. Orders confirmed on the move. Ooh. That's a lot of drones. Getting it done. Got it covered. Okay, tension. Let's hope these guys are not running too far away. Surveillance drones, man. The bane of our existence. But if they come one at a time, uh, they are actually okay to deal with. What's our option here? Randomly take someone over 80% and a bit of a superior PCS chance. Hmm, the deception is tasty. Reinforcements wouldn't be that great. Activate. 
Activate haywire. If we were to take over this here. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Well, let's take control of a drone. Good, that gives us vision. They don't know about it yet. Let's get that Advent Engineer down. Alright, Mac hopefully is going to rush in. Mac is doing the exact opposite, which is calmly moving away like an idiot. Got implacable, if you say so. and we're moving up. Ooh. Forgot about that. Uh, that one. Hmm. Let's offer us with dark cry as a subject, fortifying and. Almost got it. Almost is not quite that. The idea is now to dig our heels in and fight the enemies. We do have revival protocol, so luckily that is not a huge concern of ours as long as our support is not the one being targeted. Speaking of which, that's what I think about these little drones. Taking the shot first, because then we can get the kill with Renvin, not uh, to f only to feed him kills, which of course is always a nice idea, but it also triggers implacable, and that means free movement for us. The yelling could give us away, that is a problem. Can't pick up loot. Okay, I'll go. But we can slowly move up, reload if needed, and we're good. Let's see if this triggers something. Oh, look at you. Look at you, Pikachu. one of those perfect situations where both barrels to the face really shine okay sorry back there was a small 
real life issue that came up. Shall we continue to move deeper? I think the answer might be yes. As we are continuing to move, let's just double check our options here on the left hand side. Okay, moving up uh, completely. Location confirmed. I want to hack as soon as possible. And in the meantime, let's just try to get the Nudger. All right, that's a miss, unfortunate. Good, that thing is double moving and moves away. Which tells me there's another pack. Let's see what this is or isn't going to trigger. In case you wonder why did I move it back out? Well, wonder no more. close uh, mm, to lose the control right. and I did not want that to happen without destroying it care of. moves up and in and Reload Overwatch. On Overwatch. I'll give it a shot. Oh, what? Enemy protocol? Ooh, I want that. Come on. No. No. 10 permanent hacking set increase, that would have been so good. The single best reward for hacks, period. Okay, Renvin. Double moves might have triggered something. Nope, just the yelling. Location confirmed. Seems doable. And we're now going to rush everyone out of here. Okay, so for the backup, moving into the extraction zone that will still give us um, Overwatch. Moves to here for Overwatch. We're definitely going to Overwatch with you. Move, move, move. Move. And you guessed it, move and absolutely move. I'm on it. I'm on it. Reinforcements are coming. I like love uh, or I love large maps as that typically means you're not running into all of the packs and the good part about long war is you do not have kind of forced packs that are going to run into you 
That, I think, was one of the best features that they have changed. I think we're just out of here. Have no overstayed or welcome, clean, just straight up decent mission. And for once, only 10 enemies I would like to that, uh, that who ran into us. Okay, and now we do have enough uh, support forces to actually support our haven adequately. Implacable got death from above, and I think we're going for Santa Mas. Advanced auto loader and an Alarium core. Oh, I should have. Oh, superior PCS. That was an option. Let's take a look at our new soldiers. Really poor mental abilities. I tell you what, uh, your shinobi training, Quake, is going to come to an end. Because I changed my mind, you are bright enough John Vega, you're bright enough uh, for a Psy operative. Instead, someone else. Does any of these guys have anything super good going for them? So, 13 movement, not good for a Shinobi, but this is actually quite good for a sniper or a Gunner. Got four gunners. Three rangers. Four snipers. You know what? Let's make him a ranger then. Once we're done here. Um, and X Road with 60 movement definitely can be a shinobi. A little bit light on the hit point front. Axon Rod becomes a Shinobi. We need more of those. Plenty more. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just double checking. Could theoretically also take a rookie. Like John Williams does have decent aim. Hmm. Don't want to put anyone into training <clears throat> because hmm, I don't know how it works if that bugs the game because we do already have someone else in training. He's just on a mission, right? So training is paused at the moment. But they are infiltrating for 19 days, so might as well put John Vega into the training here. In two days, he will become a Psy operative. Just out of curiosity, does that re reduce it even further? Two days and it does something. Oh, 
Okay, and in terms of armory for the incoming um, incoming uh, mission, we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we count the rookies, it would be even nine. How many shinobis do we have at the moment? Four. And we got, I think, two more in training. And we do have one we could train one more uh, like that is six seven and then the eighth one could be anything really um you know what we could just take john anderson with us he's an overall good guy 15 hack is great that is just fantastic um hit chance is fantastic the movement is a little bit slow so shinobi is not the right choice for him but literally any other class would be happy with 70 aim Instead of, for instance, 60 aim here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we can take him on to that mission. In which case, what we can do is Plisket Snake gets Oscar Mike, and we're good. Okay, well, that is, I think everything that we have today uh, we're going to prep the other mission and the actual other mission will happen the next time in the next episode for now thank you for watching i appreciate uh, more all of you if you like a long more of the chosen content now is the time to say thank you I post a comment down below and a thumbs up see you in the next episode bye bye